Hello friends, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a testing video and review of this Class D amplifier board. Friends, I am others from Technical Evolution. Welcome to the video. If you are watching my videos for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to tap the bell icon so that you will get the notifications on time. Before going straight to the testing video, you have to know what is a class D amplifier and what is the speciality of this class D amplifier. There are so many classes like class A, class B, class AB, class D, class H uh, and uh, class AB is more popular uh, than any other classes. But now we are discussing about class D. So today I am not going to give a detailed explanation of class D amplifiers. I will do a separate video about the classes of amplifiers in the next coming episodes. So friends, now we can take a look at this class D amplifiers and how it works. After that we can go straight to the working video and my review. Class D amplifiers are entirely different from normal linear amplifiers. They are called switching amplifiers. Their working principle is almost similar to the switch mode power supply. The MOSFET used at the output stage of these amplifiers are not used for linear purpose. These MOSFETs are acting like switches. They simultaneously turn on and off. It helps the amplifier to produce an 80 to 95 percentage of efficiency. A very little amount of heat is produced during the working of class D amplifiers. That's why we don't need a big heat sink like class AB amplifiers. This is a piece of a class D amplifier powered by TPA3116D2IC. The IC is from Texas Instruments. According to data sheet, the IC can produce up to 50 watts per channel into 4 ohms at 21 volt. Today we are checking this TPA board and try to find out the power and the working of this board. So, Let's go straight to the working video. Here I am using a 24 volt 10 amps SMBS as power supply for powering up this class D amplifier board. This is our board which is powered by TPA3116D2. It contains only one IC and it's a studio board. Here is the input section. Uh, friends, this is my first Android mobile and I am using this uh, Samsung Galaxy model as my input device. In the output stage, I am using Voltec Overtem speakers. It's a 4 ohm speaker which can handle up to 100 watts RMS.
After the testing video, I can easily say that this board is very powerful. As it's a small board, everybody think this cannot produce much watts out of it. But friends, this is great value for money and it's a great board and it's a class it's a class 3 amplifier. The output performance is so good and so great. By using a 24 volt 10 ampere SMBS, you can drive two all type speakers very easily. The main advantage of this class D amplifier is its compact size. Look at this, it's very handy. You can fix it anywhere. Uh, you don't need a fan or a cooling fan to run this amplifier because the heat produced during the working is very low. Uh, when we compare this to a class AB amplifier, the heat producer in this board is only 1 by 4th of the heat producer in class AB amplifiers. This class D board has so many advantages, but there is some disadvantages also. While testing this board, I found that some of the frequencies are missing, especially the high frequencies. Some of the treble frequencies or bandwidths are missing in this board. I don't know uh, what's the reason. Uh, not only the uh, treble, but also some of the mid frequencies are also missing. The other problem I faced while testing this board is the pop up noise. While turning on the amplifier and turn off the amplifier, we can hear a high pitch pop up noise from the speakers. That's not good for the speakers. So you must use a speaker protection board with delayed on and off to protect your speakers from this kind of pop up noise. So considering the price and performance, this board is this awesome. You can buy this board directly from Amazon Dotin for just 600 rupees or I think from 600 to 750 rupees. So friends, please like and share and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back with another video. So friends, just wait and watch.